guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing another cage theme for my guinea pigs so today's cage theme is going to be a bumblebee themed cage um in my five by three cnc cage for my four so guinea pigs before we get into the video though i would like to say a huge thank you for 100 subscribers but the main reason why i am talking about 100 subscribers is now that i have 100 subscribers i feel like i have enough um people following me and watching my videos if you guys would like to see a video where i react to my subscribers guinea pig cages then I'm going to be having my business email linked down below um, so you guys can send me images and a little bit about your cages um, and I'm going to be making a video with me reacting to these cages so in these um, emails you sent me I would like pictures of the cage um, information on your piggies maybe if you want to send that and if you can um, measurements for the cage I don't mind centimeters or inches or feet whatever square feet um i can work out square footage myself if you only know like how like the width and the length in like centimeters or whatever um but even just like the grid size because i know if you have cnc cages some grids are 12 inches some are 14 so if you can put that information in there as well that'd be helpful and any other information you want to put um about your piggies and your care and i'll be reacting to the images you send me and the like information that you give me about your piggies so yeah if you would like to send those my email will be in the description box down below and i'm hoping to get between um eight and ten before i do a video i'm hoping for at least eight really because then i feel like the video will be worth it okay so now back to the actual video i am going to be showing you guys the stuff i have now for the cage theme okay so the first thing i have is the liners so these liners i made myself back in i think june and i have a two by three a two by two and a two by one liner so the only one i have used so far is the two by one so i have used this like i think once or twice um and I used that uh, when I was testing out my sewing skills and how the fleece held up for my products that I sell on my Etsy shop, which is also linked down below. But I have never used the 2x2 or the 2x3, so super excited to use these. This is the pattern on it. It's a really nice bumblebee pattern. I also do have some drip pads of my own here that I might be using in the cage. Uh, with the same fleece on as these and I also made them. I'm also going to be using some bath mats for inside the cage where I have this nice yellow one. This is from Next um, and it is 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres and then I have this brand new silver um, Denelm bath mat and this is 75 centimetres by 45 centimetres. So these are the two that I'm going to be using in the cage. Hopefully all of this will make sure there's like enough um it'll hopefully all be enough for the cage and hopefully cover the whole thing and then i also have this fleece cube here and it's like green but with like little bumblebees on it and this is from beastie beds um and i will link her down below um all of her things so i have this and i also have this hammock from her as well same pattern with the same lemon um, on the inside. So that is everything I have. I'm also going to be keeping some things in there, like their toys and the, like this log tunnel and one of their other wooden houses because I usually keep the wooden houses in regardless just because it gives them something to chew and some of them are their favourite houses. So I keep them in, but otherwise I have all the things here and I'm going to start off by cleaning the cage and then we'll get onto the actual theme.
Okay guys, so this is the final cage. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks really cute. I think that that house over there being quite a more yellow undertoned wood also enhances like the yellow and all the guinea pigs look so good with yellow, especially like Bellatrix, Ginny and Fleur. Um, Luna's just white, so she kind of looks good with everything. But the other three, because they have like the ginger or and brown with them, they just look so good against the yellow. I think they just look super, super, super cute. And Fleur's obviously got the black as well, which goes with the bees, and it is just adorable. And Bellatrix looks a bit like a little bear, and like bears with honey, that kind of aesthetic thing. And it is so cute. So I'm super happy with it. I've just filled the hay up a little bit. Um, so they're just sort of nibbling that at the moment. I have my new bath mat over there and all my new liners in. I've been putting these like cardboard toilet rolls in here at the moment because Luna really likes them. So I thought I might as well. And yeah, I think they really like it too. As I say, they look super cute with it hi so that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed and i hope you guys like the cage theme i do have a couple more planned um that i've basically got most of the stuff for now but if there's any cage themes you would like to see in the future please comment them down below and again if you'd like to be part of my um i react to your cages video my subscribers cages videos then please um send me your cages with a bit of information via the email that will be linked down below and all of this stuff um where i got it from and everything will also be linked down below so i hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye